Now, Qantas is demanding immediate action or an alternative if the parliament can't deliver on the Sale Act changes. But the finance minister, Matthias Cormann, has told us the government's done what Qantas wanted. Well, Minister, this is looking like a standoff at the moment. Did the government enter into its decision at Cabinet last night in the knowledge that this is likely to be where it ends up? Well, we made a judgment uh, on the basis of uh, what we think is right. Um, clearly, uh, there are uh, some serious issues uh, for Qantas uh, right now because of the restrictions uh, that are imposed uh, on them in the Qantas uh, Sale Act. Uh, right now, Qantas is not able uh, to compete freely uh, in what is a very competitive market because of restrictions imposed on them that are not faced uh, by their competitors. So the judgment, the, um, the judgment the cabinet made last night uh, was uh, that removing those restrictions was the best way uh, to help secure uh, Australian jobs uh, now and into the future. But did you make any assessment, your own due diligence process, if you like, of the politics of this? If, if it was bogged down in stalemate, what would be the impact in, of, on Qantas of a prolonged stalemate? Well, our judgment, uh, was, well, our job was to make a judgment in the public interest. Um, our judgment is not uh, to second guess commercial decisions by Qantas. We are not the uh, board of Qantas. We are not the management of Qantas. Our judgment uh, was uh, focused on uh, making the right call. Uh, and of course, uh, I mean, right now, uh, what we recognise is that Qantas is facing some challenges as a result of the restrictions uh, in the uh, Qantas Sale Act. The best decision that we could make was to remove those restrictions so that Qantas was free uh, to compete uh, and uh, to deliver the best possible value to its customers. Does the government have a plan B? Well, I mean, our plan uh, is uh, to help ensure uh, that, we, uh, th that we have a level a playing field in the aviation uh, industry. Uh, right now, there's strong competition between Qantas and between Virgin in particular. That has delivered significant benefits for the travelling public. It uh, has delivered improvements in service delivery. It's delivered uh, lower airfares. I mean, these are all good things in the public interest. It, it's clear that Qantas has one eye on the politics because they say in their statement we need, quote, immediate action. And if the government's proposal does not pass through the parliament, uh, we need to consider alternative measures. So how do you respond to that? If, if something else is required, can something else be offered? Well, we have put uh, immediate action on the table. We are proposing to immediately remove those restrictions uh, that are in the Qantas Sale Act, that which are making it harder for Qantas uh, to compete. We are proposing to remove those immediately. And we are also proposing uh, to scrap the carbon tax, something that the Labor Party could uh, support today, uh, which would uh, significantly reduce uh, the cost of doing business for Qantas and, of course, for all other businesses across Australia, which would help uh, build a stronger economy and help create jobs. So there is a lot of things that we uh, can do right now to help Qantas today. Although it was discussed, it was on the table and it was rejected, what is the status of debt guarantees? Does the government say that they are uh, completely dead for all time as an well, option? Well, we, we don't think it is appropriate for the government uh, to uh, intervene uh, in a competitive market, essentially uh, picking uh, one uh, business ahead of another to help one business uh, compete uh, against another uh, using uh, taxpayer resources. I mean, that is not the way we uh, think governments should operate. The job of government is to provide the conditions uh, for everyone to have the best possible opportunity to be successful. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, strong competition between two strong airlines in Qantas and Virgin uh, is uh, in the public interest because it improves service delivery and drives down costs. If this repeal was passed, did the government do any assessment of the market interest, how a carve-up and a sale of Qantas might look and who might be globally interested in taking a bigger stake? Well, once uh, the legislation uh, passes to repeal Part 3 of the Qantas Sale Act, it'll be up to Qantas to decide on how uh, they uh, want to move, uh, you know, uh, change things moving forward. It's up to Qantas to make these sorts of judgments. We would have provided to them the opportunity uh, to compete freely on the same uh, basis uh, as uh, any other player in the market. And do you accept that under that scenario, jobs, particularly maintenance jobs, would or could go offshore? Well, I listened uh, to Bill Shorten last night lament uh, that this was sending Australian jobs offshore. Uh, and what I would suggest uh, to Bill Shorten is to watch uh, the uh, very compelling uh, interviews that Kerry O'Brien uh, did with Paul Keating. Because when uh, Bob Hogg and Paul Keating uh, set out to reduce tariffs, uh, there were Bill Shortens then 
uh, that lamented that this would send Australian jobs overseas, mostly from uh, the union movement. And guess what? They stuck to their guns. They made decisions on what was right for the economy, right for jobs. They strengthened the economy and helped create more new jobs in Australia through the decisions they made. Instead of going for lazy populism, uh, Bill Shorten should reflect on what is uh, in Australia's uh, medium to long term national interest. All right, Matthias Cormann, that's an argument for the government to prosecute, but we'll leave it there. Thank you. Good to talk to you. Now it's Tuesday.